What a lovely, glorious Saturday morning, baby. 11 centigrade, the sun is out. Yeah. Lost. Look at that, folks. What a lovely day. Look, I wish it was like this the other day, Shao, when we went to Skeggy. I know, that would have been lovely, but don't worry, you four, we'll be back soon. Yeah, and it looks like you all enjoyed the video. If you haven't seen the other version of it, do pop over to the Travel Trolls channel and have a look when we had a bit of fun in Skeggy. And also, Sammy's got her own channel, which she's just started up, which is Sammy's Witch Witchcrafts. So go along, I've been having a look. And she does I've a lot got, of crochet and yeah, stuff like, like that. Yeah, I like the key ring you've done, Sammy. A lot of uh, you women know how to crochet, but Sammy's very, very good at it. Yeah. So we will leave the link in the uh, channel below as well. And um, also at the other two channels, JP's JP, channel yeah, and also good. the Travel Trail. So do take a look at that. Right. Right, a lot of you have been asking for an update on my health and what it's been since I've been doing the carnival. Well, I couldn't give you an update because I didn't have no real results. But now I have. I've had blood tests done and um, I'm going to be sharing you a bit later on and uh, we'll see exactly what this type of diet or eating plan rather, it's not really a diet, it's an eating plan, has done for my health. Because the blood doesn't lie. You, I can say whatever I want, but at the end of the day, the blood doesn't lie. So we'll be having a look at it later. But first of all, we're going to meet Project Man, and also Stacey and the kids, down the ragged apron, just to have a little bit of a breakfast down there. So we'll see you down there. Oh, hello. Right, so we hit the road again on our way down to the ragged apron. Now the weather is fantastic and definitely along this strip of road you can see the daffodils just coming up and the trees are just getting ready to bloom up and it looks like you're driving through a tunnel when you go down here when it's all in bloom. Lovely. Come on baby, it's a bit windy. Old Project Man's here already, look. They're here already. That's a little camper van. We're going to do a little bit of camping, not camping, but a little bit of roadside cooking but that'll be in a different video folks. Not with roadkill. Oh hello, I've just seen them in there, look. No roadkill. Uh, no roadkill, no, we're ta taking the air fryer out. That's not in this video though, we'll be in a different video, but keep your eyes out for that one coming up, folks. Look at you lot sitting here. And have a guess what? It's Mother's Day. Well, it's not. No, it's it not. Is. Tomorrow is. And it's Mock Mother's Day. Yeah. Mock Mother's Day, that's why we're all coming out, because we're going out tomorrow oh, with Jimmy, aren't we, Shell? Yeah. And uh, that means we get a... A little Mother's Day on a Saturday with us, not with us, with uh, this lot, and uh, <coughs> get it, yeah, get it paid Nanny. for us for a change. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Oh, and another one. Look at that. Yeah. Where's mine? Yeah, where's mine? Um, well, just because you wear dresses now, does that mean you get Mother's Day? Presents? Unbelievable. See what they've done. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm loving this. Oh, isn't it lovely? Let's look at the card. Yeah, read the card out. And look at the picture here, then. Eh? Why can't you read it? She goes, I love the picture. Oh, I love the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. I'm amazing. It's a three dimensional card, yeah. Yeah, it's a teddy bear. Yeah. yeah. Whose handwriting's in there? Because it's always uh, Stacey's. Yeah, of course it's going to be mine. Is it yours? It's scary, it's not that, mate. I oh, am. Yeah. Ah, look at that, look. I can't wait till Father's Day. Why? I want flowers as well. You're getting that for Get him a dress! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go, you got a little gift there, look. Do you know what, I might take this one on Holly Bob's. Holiday one, that's a holiday yeah. scarf, isn't it? Yeah. Very nice. That's it, put it right over your head. There you go. There you go, that's it, you can stay there just like that, baby. <laughs> all all, all uh, breakfast time. Thank you, children. That's all mm -hmm. four of you, five of you. Well, yeah. Six. Yeah. 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 Baby bump. In fact, I've got a little plant for Olivia in my car. Yeah. Happy days, baby. You deserve it. You're a great mum, nan, and everything. And, and a great, great, oh, a lovely wife, yeah. Lovely wife. So she should be here. Yeah. Well, there we go. We've, we've just had, uh, what you got? You didn't have no eggs today, Sharon? Didn't have eggs last time. No, you didn't have them today, though. No. You've gone for a lovely little one of those pizzas, Evie. Look at the size of that. Harry's gone for a wrap, as you can see there. He's got a pizza as well. Yeah. Thank you, Dale. You're so attentive. <laughs> and I've gone for my lovely, look at that, four bits of bacon again, folks. Same thing what I have, one burger. And two of them lovely poached eggs. Oh, that's what people don't realise that either, either, do they? You can open your little uh, sauce packet up like that and uh, make it bigger. And it's easy to dunk stuff in, isn't it? Yeah? Oh, hello. Let's have a little look at these eggs, people. Has he done it again? 
Oh, oh he's, he's done it. He's, he's done it again, didn't they? Look, he's done it again. Oh yeah, go on. So, you have to tell him how you do your poached eggs. Yeah, they, they want to know how you do your poached eggs now. Everything goes through microwave. You can't. Is it trade secret or not? There's there's a couple of tricks. Right. Put your pan on. Yep. Get your water boiling. Yep. Once your water's boiling, turn your water down so you've still got little bubbles coming. Is that a simmer? Simmer. Yeah. And then drop them in nice and gently. Right. But you can put a drop of vinegar in if you want. Right. Which then stabilises the egg. Because I've tried that before. And I've noticed that your eggs actually come out in one. Some people say spin the water, maybe. It is a load of rubbish because I've done that, and every part, every part of the yolk, uh, the, the white bit, is all flown off all over the place. Just got to be gentle. Gentle, gently, gently, gently catch your monkey down. Smashes the eggs, man. There you go. You've heard it from the top man there. What? You don't tell lies, and this is the proof of it, folks. Thank you, my lovely. All right, my Oh, look at that little baby. Superb. You're going to enjoy that. I am. Yeah. was absolutely fantastic so we're off now to um, Hag Worthingham because we've got to get some food for our campsite cooking Sharon oh yeah hey? yeah you got a bit of a takeaway there that was for Evie wasn't it that's a leftover she yeah. didn't have it for tea so Gary and Stacey are coming with us to um, Hag Worthingham they're in the camper van what for there's a film in the back no, oh, right. come on in All right. I'll see you in a minute come on in I'm getting in here people okay, bye -bye. oh shut the door then Right, I'm uh, all camped out here. Camped out. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, look, he's got the old power bank over there. He's even got a blinking air fryer in here himself. Is that an air fryer? Yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. Got a power bank down there, look. Power bank's everywhere. Telly on the wall there, look. Yeah, we was talking about getting one of these, me and Sharon, but um, Sharon prefers staying at the hotels, but I would love one. But uh, if I did need it, I'd always borrow this one anyway. <laughs> hey? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Right, we just arrived at East Coast Meats. Oh, hello, look at you. Hello. Look at you. Oh, hello, get me in. <laughs> <laughs> just shut that door. Right, here we are. Oh, what a lovely sunny day. What do you think, Stacey? I think it's beautiful. Isn't day. it? Lovely, isn't it? Yeah. So, just walking over, Sharon's already oh, here. Hey? Eh? What are you doing? Sniffing. What are you sniffing me for? You like what, what I've got on? My, yeah. what, my deodorant? No, that's what's aftershave. You right, baby? Yeah, we opened the roof wide. Right. All the noise, we had to shut it. Did you? Yeah. What the booming noise? Yeah. Oh, they don't tell you that, show, do they? No. Right. It's all right when it won't open fully. In we go, baby. Oh, I like to look at what pa what packs they got on here. They've got the oh, mega new ones now, mega freezer filler. Look at that. You get one pound of unsmoked bacon. Well, you can read it there, folks. Look, fifty-four pounds. That's that's a lot of meat there, Sharon, isn't it? That's a joint pack there. That's a good one. Lot of joints. Let's have a look. Oh, they're all kilogram. Look, kilogram of beef, gammon, pork, whole chicken. <laughs> And also lamb as well. They've got some good deals. <laughs> right, in we go. Thank you. In we go, Sha. Right, let's have a little look here. Shouts at Carnivore's Heaven. What's that? What's that? Look. Oh, she does love a river beef, thing. Eh? That's your favourite, baby, isn't it? Let's have a little look here. Let's just move over here. 
Are you, are you getting anything? You are? Only some beef is fine. For tomorrow? <laughs> Gary's cooking. I'm not. No, well, you, it's your mother's day, isn't it? Yeah, she's right. Okay. Well, that's good, isn't it? What you got? Size of that piece of pork there for 21 quid. Uh, that's not bad at all, is it? That's yeah. enormous. What's that you got there, Trevor? That's our offer. 18 pounds. We saw them in um, Tesco's 32. 30 pounds, wasn't it? Yeah. Just shows you, doesn't it? They got, no, they've got the specials at the moment, so that's Who why have? I've come. Butchers, that's why I've come yeah, down yeah. here to get one. Yeah. And you do love a leg of lamb, Sharon, oh, don't I you? Do. But I love that more. That river beef? Oh, yeah. That is a monster. Here, Sharon, mm. if we did get that, we'd never take it to Bent Cook on that bling barbecue. No, ruin it. Ruin shrink it. it up, wouldn't it? Ruined it. Oh, hold on, hold on. What's that? Hold on, she wants me. Hold on, she wants me. That's what I got the last time. Air when, fryer, yeah, air yeah, go on then. Get three of them for a tenner. I want three of these. Hey? Well, I thought for a tenner, you can put them in the freezer, can't you? That's a ready made sort of uh, carnival meal, isn't it? And we had that last time. Remember when we cooked at the castle? Yeah. The uh, castle, that's what we cooked, and that steak was so tender, believe it or not. It can normally be a little bit um, well, tough, can't it? Then. Yeah, get free for free for tennis, you can't go wrong, I've can you? I've got them beautiful chops in, though. That's what I've got right now. Of course you have. They were from here, wasn't they? Yeah, of course you have. What are you getting in? Lamb. Done, mate. I paid for um, what, what, what are you getting? River beef. River beef. He's getting the river beef. In the shop, mate, I know, we that? love the river beef, don't right. we? Sure, that's not, not a bad price. Right. that one, mate. <laughs> We love a river beef. What do you think? Twenty-nine pounds, yeah. We paid sixty-six pounds when we was in um, Scotland. Scotland, wasn't it? And that shrunk up to half the size, didn't it? I was mad off in Scotland. Eh? I was mad off. In no, Scotland. Ben cooked it, Sharon. He cooked it wrong, didn't he? Do you want that one? Or do you want that one? A bit nicer in my humble opinion. Yeah. Leave it to you. Leave it to you. Honestly, if I was buying, I'd be buying that one. He's a good salesman, Sharon. Sharon, he's a good salesman. Where are you going, baby? Getting six eggs, we've got no eggs in yours. Got no eggs? Yeah. yeah. 1856. Uh, 170? Six, yeah. Yeah. 170 and a teller. Happy days. Look at that. So lovely last night. Oh, then big. Then what, they, what were they called again, Sharon? Pork, pork. Pork, pork. Tomahawk. Tomahawk. They all went. I didn't even get one myself in the end. They were fantastic. They all went. Yeah. That is, you know, like you get the tomahawk steaks with the big bone on. This is called a. Was it a pork? Sharon, pork pork. No, tomahawk. pork, There we go. That's the pork steak with the belly pork still on it. Um, so We had one. We had one last time, uh, last night. Me and Sharon, we had one each, and that was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. But we have to order, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. So they were on the yeah, next, um, next Friday again, we'll be just cutting them in the morning. Right. Uh, and to be fair, as soon as he puts that knife through, that's it. Yeah. I'll yeah. get along with it. But yeah. I think you'll do it again. Yeah. Everyone loves them. They are. And honestly, yeah. folks, if you're down East Coast, have a go at the Tomahawk. Ask for the Tomahawk. You have to order them in. They were fantastic. We had them yesterday. Yeah. Send me a shout. What? Tomahawk. That's what I said. I no, Tomahawk. Well, I do both. I said that. Tomahawk. Well, they know now, Sharon, because they've, Sharon, they've heard the main man say what it's called now, haven't they? What we did, let me show you what we did on it as well, because we left the belly on. That's it. Hold oh, that, Sharon. Right, what have we got here then? You say, that would be, the, that's a normal tomahawk. Yeah. That's a tomahawk, yeah. So we left that on all the way up there. Right. So basically, it was uh, belly there all the way... The equivalent of about there. Yeah, it was. Realistically, like, yeah. so... I trouble fitting in my air fryer. I was looking forward to it, but they all sold yeah. well, they them. I was convinced I was going to get one. They were so succulent, Sharon, yeah. weren't they? You want to get one next week? Yeah, yeah. super. They're not quite happy. I mean, you see, I'll wait until they're busy. No, you should. I love them. Very easy. We recommend them, Sharon, don't we? Yeah. Chili flakes on them. Mm, lovely. Is that it, then? That's it. Thank We're you. off now. We'll see you later, folks. Yeah, if you're down here, folks, do ask behind the counter for a tom of pork. They are fantastic. Anyway. We're off now to do a bit of filming. What's it called? Tom a pork. I think you said it about 51 times. No, I said pork a hawk first of all. Tom a pork a hawk. Pork a hawk. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Look at this day, look. Sharon? Sharon, we're going to snipe now, is that right, Stacey? Yeah, I thought we could have gone there. No, no they've, they've said, they've about. said, Sharon. Yeah. They've said. I will follow you. I just thought it'd be quiet. Where's this? Well, there's no people and dogs coming up to you. Where is it? 
Mind you, nutshell. No, I'm just thinking, well, there's no dogs and people. We'll a lay-by, proper lay-by. Shout, I've got you convinced. You love a bit of lay-by cooking yeah, now, don't don't you? Yeah, I don't want to go in the car park when well, there's loads of people. I'm lay-by cooking. Lay-by, eh? I said, I'm pleased you said lay-by cooking. Well, what else are you doing lay-bys? <laughs> you ain't thinking of dogging, are you? No. Unbelievable. What a filthy mind you've got, <laughs> Stacey. Right. Where am I going, Sharon? Oh, I'll come in here then. I don't trust him too. What did you say? Can you move over, Harry? Of course, very sunny, isn't it? Right, we'll see you when we get there, folks. Right, Sharon, we've just done it, haven't we? We just filmed our air fryer video for the outside camping bit. We have done. And uh, we use this little power bank here, folks. But uh, don't forget, we've got another one coming up very shortly to um, show you. And that little turbo blaze worked very well, Sharon, didn't we've it? We've done a review on this, hello. And we've done a review on that as well, Sharon, yeah. You know what? It's nice and warm. It is nice and warm. It cooks up really, really quickly, didn't it? Yeah. So we've been laid by cooking again, folks, as you can see. Uh, you will see a video on that. But yeah, we're in the middle of nowhere again. Look, let's show you. Sorry. A lovely little lay-by. Look. Coming around here, look. Look. How about that? Just pulled over, look. Over there. Got the boot up. We could have done it out the back of Sharon's car, but we've got our little 14-pound table there. Where was that from, Sharon? The range. The range, wasn't it? And we're in Gary's 20-pound van. Yeah, and we're in the back of his van, look. But you, we could have very easily done it in there. But there again, Sharon, he has got his own little power bank there, look. Yeah. If you look there, and he's also got his own air fryer there as well, folks, look. And he's also got his own bleeding porter potty down there, Sharon, look. <laughs> and just to show you this as well, he's got a little power bank down there, and that feeds this telly, Gary, did it? Yeah. Just that telly. How long's that last for? For oh, ages. Yeah. That pulls, how many watts? Have you seen how many watts this pulls when you've... Oh, I can't remember. It's not a lot. It's not a lot, is it? It's about that seven or eight watts. Last me a month, that. So there you go, that's only a little small power bank there, people. They're really good, these power bank things now. And that's a 240 volt TV there. Oh, he's got a light on there. That, right? that, he's got a light on that power bank. Yeah, as I well, know. But what he's also got in here is a solar panel on the roof as well. And he's also got a leisure battery in there, Gary, yeah? Yeah, it's in that cupboard under our feet. So under there, if you've just opened that cupboard up here, look. With a split wave in the oh, he's got a fan in there as well, look. So, oh, he's a bit dark in there, isn't it? I don't know if you can see that, people, can you? Oh, yeah, there we go. Split chargers on the back wall in that cupboard. Split charger over the back there. That's that thing. That's C Tech thing. Yeah, so that's, that should be green, is it? Is there a green light? There's a green light on it. That's because the solar's charging that battery at the minute. Right. And another green light will come on when I'm driving because the alternator charges it. Right, okay. It's like he knew what he was talking like he knew about what then. He was talking about Sharon, that's right. I was quite impressed with him then. So, gone are the days when you used to just run your, your, your camper van off of one battery, one lead acid battery, and that would, wouldn't last at all. These little power banks are fantastic now. So, you, when's the last time you charged this one up down there then? That one, that's probably been about six or seven weeks. It must be nearly flat now. What's, look at that, look. On the front, what's it say? Uh, what? Just push one of the buttons, it'll light the screen up. Uh, input. Oh, it's only got 1% left. Yeah, that's been about six, six to eight weeks. Six to eight weeks is that, that there. Look, that's only a tiny little. What's the wattage of that one? I think that's a 600. 600 watt. This one here is a 1500 watt, isn't it? 1500, yeah. Yeah, but as I say, they're so advanced now, these. And this one out here, as I say, if you can afford something like this, folks, these are sort of uh, 1200 to 1800 quid, depending on what make you get. But this one, as I say, is 2400 watt. And that powered that no problem at all, Shao, didn't it? Yeah. Absolutely no problem at all. But that comes in a different video coming up later on. Yes. So this go week. across and watch it. Mm. And also, click the link for that thing. Yeah, There's great. a good discount on that. I think at the moment, at the time of me doing this vlog, it's uh, got a 25% discount. I think it's £119 at Brilliant. the moment, Sharon. Brilliant. So for anyone, why waste your money on a primer stove and stuff like that? If you've got a power bank, Get something like that because it, it takes away the restriction to cooking everywhere, doesn't it? And you don't burn your jumper. Oh, here we go. I'll never leave that one down, folks, will I? All right, just pack it up now. And all we've got is this little bag, shall we? Yep. So we forgot our ready ripes because we're just doing a little quick video here. So that goes in there. Oh my Getting a bit windy, shall you? Looking a bit cold, baby. I am cold. So there we go. There's our little power bank there, as you can see. There's our air fryer. Let's pop them to bed so they pop don't get the damaged. Yep. Yeah, those were a good buy, them, shall weren't they? These look. Three of them for a tenner down the East Coast of Meats. You've got two steak, two little lovely steaks in there and two um, pork steaks as well. That little fold-up table. Are you cold, kids? I am. In you go, baby. And here they are, look. 
lording it up here, look. Hey? We're on tour, mate. You're on tour? So we've been talking about possibly you starting up your channel again soon? Yes. Yeah. Now you're thinking that you possibly might vlog Yes. Where you can do a bit of everything. Yes. Because you've got the camping so. van, because he's got his beaten Project Man channel, which yeah. I don't know whether he's going to keep going with that or not. <laughs> Just the odd bit on there. Yeah. But you do your cooking, you do other stuff mm. as well. You've got a baby coming up, so you might be yes. doing, doing some baby food cooking and yes. stuff like that. Yeah, they'll still be cooking, there'll be, you know, baby food, they'll and be vlogging. Day, day to day be... stuff when yeah, you go out places. Yeah. Because you do go out in this van, but you don't really vlog it a lot, do you? No. Which I think people would be interested in. Yeah. Because you've got all the gear in the back there. Yeah. There's no idea. And like Tracy and Ben recently said on their vlog, people that follow Butler's Empire channel show a lot of interest in like us as a family and, and Tracy and Ben as a family and things like that. So Yeah, I yeah, mean, they've and been asking questions, us questions so. about you, yeah. but best yeah, if you can answer them yourself, isn't it? Yeah. Because I don't know what you get up to in your own time. Oh, you don't want to know. I don't want to know. <laughs> anyway, we're going to clear up here, folks. Make our way back and we'll see you a little bit later. A little walk about down the village, and we've stopped off at the uh, delicatessen. What are you looking at, Evie? Mm. What are they there? Cookie there? monsters, a big marshmallow. I love marshmallow on the top, and then massive cookies there. Look, yeah, look at them pasties. Oh, look. They used to do a really lovely well, they do still do a lovely pasty. They are there, isn't it? Sausage roll and the pies here used to be fantastic when we used to eat them, show, didn't they? Yeah. I do love a pie, but pies don't love me, show. that's my favorite. A lot of as well. Oh, All homemade. Yeah. Look, folks, yeah. look at this. Look, if you're a cake eater. Or you like a special treat? Do have a look at the uh, delicatessen in the village, so. and they do a little Easter window as well. Show. Look at that, look. Superb, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely got the uh, holiday feel down to the village yeah, a lot, today. A lot of cars and a lot of people. A lot of people today. about today, as I say, a lot of holiday makers. Let me turn the camera around, people. As you can see, just coming down the high street, you've got little bistros out here where you can sit out and have a cup of tea and a drink and all that. And we're actually down here now, Sharon, looking for charity shops. This ain't a charity shop. I was told we were going in charity shops, Sharon, because I want to look for some DVDs. Bikes, isn't it? You know what I mean by bikes. I'll wait till we get to the charity shops. I'm not interested in bags, folks. Just coming down here a little bit further. Such a lovely little holiday village, this, folks, when the sun's out. Lots of caravan sites around here, Sharon, aren't there? There we go. <laughs> Little bit of history shout, as they probably don't know, or we've shown it in another video, this is where the train track used to run, right along here. And if you come over here behind the police station, just down the side of it, you can actually see a piece of the railway tracks, folks, where the train used to run. Look at that, look. It's been left there, so that would have gone all the way down there. Straight the way down, Sharon, to where the ragged apron is, where the... Um, Railway used to run in the straight line straight down there. And that is part of the original railway track, Sharon. And I didn't know that until last year sometime that that was there. So yeah, they chopped the rails off there. And if you come down here, there's actually another sleeper there which goes under this gravel. I think you just found another one there, Sharon, yeah? There's one there and there's also one a bit further down as well, folks. Look, all heading that way. Hey, oh, that's the original sleepers that were there, look. All them years ago. All right, on the other side of the road, and we've come to our first one, which is the RSPCA one, Sharon. In we go. Right. Shut that door. What have you got there? Little, little hampers, yeah. Right, well, I'm going to come around here because I'm looking for the DVDs. Excuse me, baby. It's only a small one, this people, but uh, I don't know where they are, in here. They're here, Grandad. Where? Oh, right here. That's suit, I don't know, there's not many there. Not many there? Oh, no, there ain't, is there? Let's have a look here. 
yeah there's not a lot here at all folks I'll have a look through here first of all and I'll come back to you there you go baby I've got one there 50 pence got my change now hey got no change now got no change now that's my pocket money show it's not a lot there but I found one so yeah there you go go on show spare me pocket money <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Bargains everywhere, folks. Right, on to the next one, Shia. These! What are those there? They weren't the um, yeah, West Nat West Pigs, was yeah. it? Yeah. People went mad. Well, I'm happy, Shia. I've got one DVD. Where's the next one now? Coming on, off we go then. So, we just crossed the roads, folks, and we're now going into Age UK. Let's have a look in here. In we go. It's a bit bigger, this one, isn't it? Yeah, a little crock pot there, look. 15 quid. You can get a new one for that. What's that there, look? Pie, is that pie maker, Sharon? Yeah. Never seen them before. Have you? No, not a pie maker. You can see it on the front, that's pie I know, maker. I've never seen them. Oh. It's a good deep pie, I know, that's what I'm saying. Ten pounds. We'll look around here. Quite a few, there's only one way in here, I think, isn't it? I think I need to be over there, Sharon. Let me go around that side. Off you go. Traffic lights, are <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I can see CDs, I can't see DVDs. Okay. See bookshelves. Oh, here we go. Big rack of them. Right, I found four, folks, four DVDs there. So, we can have them. What's that, sure? Little smartwatch Evie was looking at. Oh yeah. I thought she had a smartwatch. She's smart because she ain't gonna pay for what you was gonna. Are you, I thought you had one, Evie. Oh, hi. You must have There's a lot of vintage clothing in here, show, aren't there? Hey. Hey there, a lot of vintage clothing. Yeah. Loads of stuff. I mean, how much are these? I know these are women's clothes, aren't they? What's yeah. the prices on them, Evie? Oh, I like them. Have a look at them. What's the prices on them? Look. Have a look at it. Just hold it up. They got a price on them? Kind of That's not bad. People like that sort of stuff, don't they? They're all rich. Oh, I just in case you don't go with your phone. Hey? Eh? I'm not going to your phone, Evie. Yeah. Go in, baby. Go and pay for them for me. Oh. You spent your pocket money, Hey? I spent my pocket money, I know. Here we go. Lots of bargains, folks. And a lot of this retro clothing is worth a lot of money, man. You took it out of here and then take it to a like a retro shop you charge a fortune for it we've seen the retro shops you've seen how dear they can be what have you seen anything no it's got my dinner set there for five pounds five pounds at the whole lot that's not yeah. bad boy is it no we've got that one ourselves how much do you spend on my dvd sharon oh full two pounds full pool to put two pounds that's 50 pence each how about that that's a nice tool look at this folks look that old indian look well i say old it's a modern one but what a lovely tool isn't it and this is sort of whether you want to be driving something like that thumping along the road belt drive and all it's not got a chain on it's belt drive very nice is there another one in the village here no that's it I'm that's it just them two fun's over happy days i just noticed these sharon look these barrels along here the actual hoops have slipped down look the metal rings and they'll start to splay out unless they're maintained and someone does them that's what I'm saying. Yeah. And what's the person who makes barrels called, Sharon? Do you know? Barrel maker. A cooper. <laughs> so that's a person who makes barrels. But as I say, they're definitely in need of some uh, maintenance and restoration. Otherwise, as I say, that'll all come outwards and they'll uh, all the earth will fall out. Anyway, just I noticed that, Sharon. They, as well. they could do with a bit of treatment. Yeah, they see they're going all along here. So, uh, yeah, just one to note, folks. Keep your eyes out for this sort of stuff. What about Kerner? is no 1940s. Yeah, where are you going now? Go ice cream. Oh, I see. Eatery again in Wool. Do some nice ice creams there, look. Nice little ambience you get in here as well. Double Oreo or? Double chocolate? Oreo and chocolate. Look at that. Superb. Lovely coffee there as well, look. Morning. Well? 
What's it like? Oh, there we go. That's a good idea. Look at that. Of course I can. There you go. Fantastic. Do you like that? Yeah, this is going on YouTube actually. Is it? Yeah, on our channel. It's all homemade ice cream, so. We could, if that's what you're promoting. Yeah, I make it. Oh, you make, you actually make the ice cream, do you? There you go. So if you, if you come to the Woodlands Cafe, folks, don't forget, come down here, and this young lady makes the ice cream herself. All homemade. All homemade, Sharon. Isn't it? Fantastic. And what's it like, Evie? Very nice. There you go. And they've got a proper coffee machine as well, which is nice to see at the back there. Superb. Well, it's Mother's Day. The day this video's going out, Sharon. And you're washing up. There you go. But our son, Jimmy, and uh, his other half, Charlotte, are taking us out uh, for lunch today. You'll probably come along with us. We'll show, show you a bit of that at the end of this video anyway. But uh, we've got a thank you to do, Sharon. Yes, I'll go and get it. I see, I put it on the table. Ah, it's my foot bone. Merlin's uh, at the feet again. He's, he's here again. He thinks he's going to be on camera. Yeah, this arrived yesterday. Yeah. And it's a gift from Lisa Jane Jones. Thank you both for all you do for us. My love to you both from Lisa Jane Jones. So Thanks, thank Lisa. You very much. Thanks. We're using this stuff all the time, that yeah. old silver ball, and it's quite a big roll, Sharon. Oh, I've done it again. Claw one in my toe. Hey? Claw one in my toe. He's, he's, he's at your foot again. Look, what do you want, Merlin? Sit down. Sit down. As soon yeah. as the cat. Now, he's not been doing this show, has he? As soon as the camera goes on, look. Yeah. I know what they want. Yeah, they do. Oh, of course he is. Right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sit down. Sit back, Merlin. Get back. Merlin, get back. Oh, that's their last one there. Come out of the way. Here, yeah, baby, you can give it to you. Oh, pull that off me, Ashley. I can't do it. I've got my camera. There you go. Right, sit down. Sit down. Sit down, Dougal. Over there, look, Mummy's got on. Sit down. Merlin, down. Tell him down, Shell. He's got to sit. learn. Sit. Right, sit. Dougal, sit. One each. Off you go. And there's one left in the packet, shall? One for you. Oh, no, it's Mother's Day. You can have it. So we're going to a place today which we haven't been to before. No. It's called the King's Arms. It is just over the bridge, Kirkstead Bridge, from where... Um, the Ragged Apron The Ragged is. Apron is, if you know where the Ragged Apron is, there's a bridge there, just on the other side of the bridge. So we'll take you along for the ride. Don't know how much filming we're going to be out doing there, folks. Uh, and as I say, I'm not too sure what you eat, what are you eating today, Shell, because it's Mother's Day. I've not seen the menu. Right. I mean, if it's a roast on, I'm going to roast, and I'm having it all because it's Mother's Day. Yeah. Well, I won't be obviously if there's a mixed crew if they do that. If not, I'll ask if they do something special for me. So we will play that one by ear. Thinks I could do something special for him on Mother's Day when no. I'd be fully booked. <laughs> what I mean is whether they can take veg off or this off or potatoes and that and give me a bit more meat i don't know we'll see how we go might be a fixed menu we'll have to play it by it that's the only trouble shell if you go eating out when you're when you're non carbs so to speak mm. it's finding places that you can do that with and unfortunately a lot of these places are places like kebab shops where which i love kebab meat and uh, that's the only sort of place we, we thought of where we can we can actually do that don't Kentucky we? with chicken yeah, I know, but it's not cooked. It's cooked in that vegetable oil, shell, and that plays havoc with your system. Anyway, we'll see you in a minute, folks. We're just going to get ready. Uh, Jimmy's out at the moment at B&Q. We was going to go along for the ride, but uh, it didn't happen that way, did it? No. He wanted to use Mummy's car as a blinking uh, removal lawyer to bring home some did flat pack furniture. Did you hey? take my car? No, I don't think he did, Shell. I don't think he did. Anyway. Well, if he hasn't, it's been stolen. Oh, no, I moved it there, no. didn't I? Oh yeah, there it is. Yes, yes, there. <laughs> anyway, it's raining out at the moment, folks. It's not a very nice day at the moment, so uh, the weather's changing. Although we're in early spring at the moment, shall it's just it's Nothing changing all the time, yeah. isn't it? I think that's about it for the moment. We'll see you down the King's Arms. King's Arms, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Right, here we are, shall That's the Kirkstead Bridge, there, folks. If you go that way, that's where the uh, Ragged Apron is. So we're at the King's Arms pub, which we've never actually eaten in before, shall yeah. Let's have a little walk down here, baby. Do you know the last time we was here? What? Jimmy, wasn't it football when he was a little boy? When he was a little boy, yeah. Like yeah. So here we are at the front. There we go, the King's Arms pub. In we go, Shell. Right, so that is a. Uh, what's that, a steak night, Shell, is it? Yeah, that's that mixed grill, look. I was going to say it's not bad mixed grill. What's that, that then? Is? Yeah, that one we see in the picture. That's a lot from Jimmy Shell, Frank and Mother's Day. Hello, and you've got your own special table, baby Frank. Hey? You've got your special table, Frank. Hey? Who is? Hey! 
What we got here? Some Luke. But you went for the roast beef See? as well, Emma. Yeah. Sharon went for the roast beef as well. You get the, the cabbage on there. You also get... No, I just put the cabbage on there. Oh, you just put that on there. You've got your meat there, and you've also got mashed potato and a home-cooked roast pudding, uh, Yorkshire pudding, rather. And you get your melody medley of vegetables. And me, I've just gone for the meat. So I'll let you have that, Sharon. And I'm going to just put some gravy on it. There you go. Do the meat. And there's some bread sauce over there. Well, yeah. bread sauce? I've had enough. Right, so we're going to have this and we'll see you a bit later, folks. Enjoy. Yeah. Happy Mother's Thank you. To all you ladies. Yeah. Oh well, we've eaten. We've come down to Horn Castle into the Horn Castle Garden Centre. Yeah, probably want to get another one. I think I've got the wrong trolley. That one was at the fr out the front for a reason, because it's rubbish. <laughs> the trolley's got a life of its own, folks. Sorry, Frank, I got you in the wrong trolley, mate. Yeah, look, it's got no handles on it or nothing, Sharon, look. I've stink metal now. Eh? Metal snakes. <laughs> oh, that's a better one. Yeah, Going in, in you go, Frank. In you go. There you go. Last time you was here, Frank, it was Christmas. Well, I'm going into the toilet as usual. Of course you are. Off you go then. Do you like the flowers, Frank? Yeah, what is it, flower? Red. Yeah, lovely, isn't it? Pink. Pink. Red. Red, yeah, good boy. What is it? Come, <laughs> Come on, Nanny. <laughs> Come on, Nanny. What is it, Frank? No, you're not washing your hands. What is it? Is it water? Yes. Don't put your hands in there. You like it? Look. What is it? Look. Water. Yeah, do love a garden centre, folks. And a uh, do-it-yourself shop. Just want to buy stuff you know as they enjoy looking around clothes shops and things like that this is my sort of thing this is what I like even if you're not buying you do tend to find that these uh, garden centers are quite dear actually but um, it's just a nice environment to walk around with I love it anyway not that I'm a big gardener anymore we used to do gardening but um, nowadays uh, we got too much ain't got enough time on our hands to do that sort of thing but uh, yeah what am I doing in the flower pot section See, I just rambled and I've ended up somewhere I don't really want to be. Nice old gazebo there. Uh, 249 pounds, that's not a bad price. And it's actually quite a sturdy one. Very similar, actually, to that one we uh, got for Jimmy. Or Jimmy got. That um, the wind took away when we had them big storms. So, uh, yeah. Leave, you can leave the frame up on them. But always take the, uh, the outer covering down because that acts like a sail and it just took off. If he would have taken the, um, the actual cover down, it wouldn't have uh, blown and got distorted and smashed up. So, lesson learned there. Yeah, not a bad price. What you got there? Is he, what's he conjuring the buying? Rabbit. Little rabbit. 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 Yeah. Like that. Oh. I say this is very similar to that Jimmy's one, Sharon, but a little bit yeah. smaller. 250 quid. I don't think that's too bad. No, that's what I said. I think it's quite a good price. With everything, the coat. Yeah, everything, the whole lot, yeah. All your outside lighting. A lot of this, well, most of this stuff now is all LEDs. Yeah, look, value pack of uh, rock lights, £15.99 for four, all solar powered. How long they last, though? We've had these where they um, 
last one season and, uh, and then they only sort of light run for about an hour and a half oh, oh here she goes look she's off look no. I told you you do love a light showing in the garden no. don't you I want something nice for Olivia yeah but you do like a light in I the garden like don't you <laughs> yeah I actually quite like things like this as well. I like a bit of character yeah, in the Yeah, I look a little fairy show. Yeah, I brought my little... She's little garden elves, elves, look. Are they real showing elves? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look. They've got lights. Oh, they've got lights. I think she's got something she's on Solar. Like that. Solar, yeah. Oh, hold on. Here we go. Outside cooking show. I'm all over this, look. That's only a little one, but look. 349 quid. Is that a good price or not? It's only got one sort of, one sort of burner there, look. These are um, Grill Stream. Not sure what the make is. I think it's uh, American. I think I might be wrong. And then you've got the, this one here, double burner for an extra hundred quid. And then you've got this thing, which has also got a built-in hot plate, pizza griddle. Oh, pizza, pizza stone. Look, get that off there. Look, I can't take it. It's stuck on there. But uh, yeah, all right. Might be a bit of a nuisance to clean. Maybe I'm not sure. They call that a hybrid. I don't know why that is. Hybrid cooking system, gas and charcoal in one barbecue. There you go. This one mine's good, but it mine's bad. Oh, what, the... Uh, that's a more sturdier one, Sharon, yeah. How much is that one? $4.99. Yes, yeah, a lot more money in it. See, this is the sort of thing I was looking for, the um, the car porch, you know? That's good, isn't it? That you can These are sort of uh, the old Webbers, isn't it? Look. Lift to discover more. Let's have a look. Wow, that's amazing. Now I've discovered there's nothing yeah. in there. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, What's that there? Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Not bad. And all your utensils. There we go. Look, all that. Look. Bloody hell, that's a long pair of gauntlets, isn't it? Look. Got long fingers on that one. Yeah, lots of barbecue stuff here. Look. What's this little one up here? 249 Norfolk Grills Vista. Two burner, there you go. It looks nice, though. That's a gas bottle, that one. And this one again is a Weber Sprint. Look at the prices going up. Always handy to have a temperature probe on the lid there, but that's quite a heavy lid on that, actually, to be honest with you. Not a lot of people could handle that. Gas burner, Sharon. Do you think that lid's heavy, Sharon, for a woman? No, you must be standing funny, Martin. That's not heavy at all, love. Perhaps you're stronger than me. Yeah, it might have been the way you stand, you're on a hill. <laughs> Where I was, it's not, is it? Well, I don't know really. I mean, you, of course, I can lift it up easily. I mean, I lift you've gone weak. Kilograms of eight. Have you gone weak? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> I'm thinking more for, for a woman. No, I didn't feel really any weight to it, to be quite honest with you. Charlotte, come here. Lift that up, see if you think that's heavy. You're saying right. I'm weak? No. No. You don't? Know, no. What am I talking about? I don't know, he said it was heavy, he said to lift that out, and I said no. I've, I've known lighter ones in, yeah? Not heavy? What is that? I don't know. For saucepan, innit, you turn it round, isn't it? You've got weak, mate. What is that thing? It's for chicken, love. You it's a chicken, chicken stand, look, folks, look. Christ, it's £24. That... Oh, that, goes, that, don't, that don't go up its jacksy. That goes either side of the breast, so to speak. In its neck, and oh, yeah, in, either side. No, that's yeah. the leg. That's the, the back side. Then oh, that's the parson's nose down there, Sharon. Look. All right, then let's put the lid down. Go on in. There you go, baby. There could be chickens watching this. Of course, there would be. Oh, I love these sort of things. On a squidgy thing. Always a gadget here, isn't there? Look, a little gadget. Look. Here, Sharon, that thing. Look, opening cans. Look. Remember we done that. It's for that one, isn't it? And someone said the, the thing as well. Is that you could just use a spoon to open them uh, cans. Oh, of course you can. Yeah, of course you can. Look, that's one of these things here. I know this one does multiple things, but uh, yeah, there you go. There's a gadget for everything, Sharon. Oh, there is. Is that got a car on it, Frank? Look. Yeah. Hold it. Good boy. Just another quick two shout outs, folks. We are yeah. doing these no more after this because we get so many, literally, you wouldn't believe it. So what we got here, Sharon? So we've got 
Uh, say hi to Jay and wife Terry Powers. Hello. Hi Jay. Hi uh, Terry. And Amanda and Mark Hansen a big one to the Raggy Day print on Mother's Day. And it's Mark 60th's happy birthday. Happy birthday. And also, I would like to thank my three children and their families for my wonderful gifts and wonderful day. Thank you very much. And happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out yeah. there. And I hope you've had a lovely day as well. The weather's not been too great, but there you go. Anyway, thanks very much, folks. We'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye, bye for now. We've got Tenerife coming up next week. So Yay! Not next week, the week after, sorry. Enjoy. Bye for now.